Welcome back everybody, it's great to have you here. Now we are in the, uh, I think 17th or 18th video of this restoration, almost a year into it. And this is an exciting video because this video has actually been about a year in the works. I reached out to Battleborn Batteries to see if they wanted to work with me on powering this camper. And fortunately for me, they said yes. Uh, and they provided four 100 amp hour lithium ion batteries plus all the components I needed to run those and the solar. Now in the process of trying to figure out how to work all that and wire this camper, I stumbled across Nate from Explorers Life. Great resources, uh, both the blog and YouTube on how to wire these campers and how to work with this lithium ion and all these components. And I thought, why don't I just email Nate and see if I can get him down here? And I did that and he was up for it and he's here and that's what's happening now. We got Nate here. We're gonna hook up this entire system in this video. I'm gonna show you how it's done. Now I'm gonna give you kind of a basic overview. So if you want a real detailed technical uh, dive into this, I've linked the description. Nate's done a video as well, so it's in the description. Go check out Nate's video. Let's just jump right in and get into this build. Okay, so today is the big day. I've been working hard to get this ready. Nate showed up today all the way from Steamboat, Colorado. Now he's been traveling, so we're trying to be safe and have our masks and stay somewhat apart, although we are working inside of an Airstream, so it's hard to distance ourselves. He's already in there working. Let's go see what he started on. Say hi to him. What's up, Nate? How's it going, man? How's it going? Why don't you tell us real quick? Well, first tell us what your channel is. Yeah, so I run the uh, YouTube channel and website explorus.life. Uh, I teach people how to build DIY campers, and uh, that's pretty much what I like. I like teaching people how to do stuff, um, kind of empowering everybody to learn something new that they didn't already know. Awesome, man. Well, I don't know anything about this, so <laughs> why don't you real quick just give an overview of what what, what we got, components-wise, I guess. Yeah, sure. So we are going to be installing a... Uh, off-grid capable, um, but going to be ready to go on shore power as well system. Uh, it's going to comprise of a 400 watt lithium uh, battery bank for Battleborn batteries. Uh, we're going to have a 3000 watt inverter charger. Um, we've got, what did you say, like eight, we have 800, 800 watts, watts of yeah. solar up on the roof right now. Um, those are going to be wired into a charge controller. Uh, all the components are Victron Energy uh, components. And they're all going to be wired into that breaker box uh, that's going to supply power to all these wires that uh, Andy wired up in a previous video. And let's hope it works. I'm going to be really upset if we wire it up and it'll work. Okay, so we're making progress. We've got a bunch of wire to make now, even after we've made a bunch of wire. Uh, basically, what do we, we got a, a pretty long run negative into the distributor and then the positive. Those are the two we're gonna make right now, right? Yeah, so we're gonna, we've got these uh, battery interconnects. We're gonna have to make another battery interconnect going from there to there. there okay. Uh, and then we're going to have to make the positive wire that's gonna go from there to over there. So does that mean that they're all 
you call it in series or parallel or what do you parallel parallel yeah okay. this one's in parallel okay. uh, parallel means that all the positives are tied together okay um, and all the negatives are tied together uh, if we were doing series you would have some positive to negative connections okay all right well he's gonna let me make some wire so I get to use this big giant crimper that'll be fun my dad's over here making a racket fixing my mistake actually oh, that's not a mistake I left the wire too short uh, so, is it going in or? <laughs> It'll go in. I just a few more kinda, taps with the hammer? I just gotta enlarge it a little bit. Yeah. I'll make it fit. Alright, brute force and ignorance. Finesse. Yeah. Finesse, finesse, finesse. This is ground to chassis, going into the negative, I guess, on the bus bar. Right. Tell me what this is again. Yeah, so this is a, it's called a shunt, and basically it's just a monitor, and it is measuring the amount of power that's going from this side to this side across these resistors. That might be the wrong term, but whatever. Uh, so this is what's going to, to the monitor. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So this will go out to feed uh, the monitor that's going to be mounted up to the front. Cool. Um, and that's just a measuring device basically. It's like a fuel gauge. Got it. All right, so I'm gonna attach this. And then what's next? Uh, next is going to be attaching the battery bank to this. That, okay. Okay, batteries are all connected with the exception of negative and the positive. Those are connected down here, but we're not going to connect them to the batteries yet just so we don't have everything powered up. What are we going to next? We're going to make wires for the converter inverter? Yep. I, I keep calling it that. What do you call it? Uh, inverter charger. Inverter charger. Uh, it's pretty much the same thing. Same thing. <laughs> pretty similar. Uh, yeah, the uh, next step, so we're going to connect these positive and negative to the battery bank here. Okay. And then that will have power uh, to uh, the Lynx distributor, oh. the switches, the fuses, okay. all that kind of stuff. We're going to leave the switch in the off position. Um, we don't want power to any of this just yet, okay. but we're going to power it. That way we don't have wires just flopping around uh, for safety's sake. Yeah. And then after that, we'll make some wires for the inverter charger and the MPPT, and then we'll go from there. Oh, I'd say we're making pretty good progress. I think so too. More wires to strip. <laughs> yep. into a square. Yeah. Interesting. And then you heat shrink that on. Uh -huh. What's up, Jetty? Hey, check it out. Argosy t-shirt. Right. Link in the description. Go get one. Help support the build. <laughs> Lord knows we need it. Yeah. Okay, so we're getting pretty close to closing it down for the first day. I think we've been pretty productive. Nate is doing the last, this is the last wire, right? This is the last wire. All right, so we have the last wire. We've still got a pile back here that we'll hook up tomorrow, first thing in the morning. Most of this is running up to uh, the converter, inverter, and to the solar charger. So 
finish that up tomorrow. You think we'll have power going tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah. yeah? No problem. We made okay. a ton of progress today. Awesome. So tomorrow we get to power everything up, and we'll cross our fingers that all the lights and circuits work. Pretty sure they will, but we'll have to find out tomorrow. Been a long day. We're gonna get some dinner here real soon, but making progress. Happy about this. Okay, so Nate's got everything hooked up to the Lynx distributor. Uh, positives, negatives, fuses. So everything running out now, we've got to go, we got one going to solar, right? Mm -hmm. Two going into converter, inverter. Yep. And then one going into our panel. Yep. Cool. Now, I purposely cut the holes in this cabinet for this exact task. Nate's able to fit his head through the hole. If it's perfectly Nate sized. I, I had it all figured out before we started this. I thought it was weird whenever you like emailed me and were like, hey, you're like, what, what size are your shoulders? <laughs> Man, I'm a planner, dude. <laughs> in building the wires, I guess. Yeah. And that's that's pretty pretty crucial part of the process. The drip fuse? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, so we've got the inside mostly taken care of. We're gonna turn our attention to the solar now. I'll tell you what, I'll climb up there. I've been on this roof a lot, so I'll give you the lowdown. There's special places you have to step. So if you step in the wrong spot, you're gonna feel it. It's not gonna hurt it, but it's probably not good for it. So I'll climb up. It's not gonna hurt me though. It's not gonna hurt you. Okay. Just please don't fall off. <laughs> I think you're pretty athletic, so you should be able to handle it. <laughs> Basically, I think we just use this ladder and there's there's a rib. I think there's a rib right there, so you can step on that rib. And once you're in the middle, I'll show you where the ribs are. That line of rivets is a rib. Yep. The right in front of the opening for the AC. Yep. You can step there. I, it's that's tricky because you wanna step. Like, I want to step here for some reason. But you got to step right there and obviously don't step into the hole. In front of this vent is a spot right behind the vent. And then you can step where these end caps meet. So basically, you're just looking for that tight line of rivets. Perfect. And the only part that's going to confuse you is that AC. So, I'll check these all before I do it. But uh, ultimately, we can go ahead and start connecting these up. So, positive to negative here click together like that so these two panels are now pretty much wired in series uh, this positive will connect to the negative down there and we can even see with our with the multimeter oh, it should be doubling up mm -hmm. so that negative goes down into the camper the one hanging out. Uh, yeah correct so we'll have positive here here yeah I got like 35 volts now so that Sweet. tells me everything's good there uh, so you know you do have to start being careful um, once the voltage gets a little higher because uh, by the time we get all four of these wired up we'll have you know close to 80 volts we should definitely be able to feel that okay. um, all electricity is dangerous but you can start feel like the general person can like feel it in like uh, 50 volts or so really? like just a little tingle and yeah. stuff like that 
80 feels like you got bit by a horse fly or something like that, at least to me. <laughs> how would you, how would it get shocky though? Yeah, so. Um, I mean, you, those are safe, plug, like connectors, so you're not gonna get. Yes, correct, yeah, you, I mean, the, the only metal is down actually right. inside of there. So like, you know, touching it like this, like that's not gonna be a problem. I guess once. But once we connect the long wires from that side of the array all the way back, back. here, um, I'm, we're gonna be working with a bare end of a wire down here. So I'm not gonna connect that wire to that MC4 connector yet. Into I'm just gonna wire. zip tie them together so we get the length right. Okay. Make the MC4 connection on this side, that way there's no bare wires, and then and I can then connect that, connect that. Smart. Okay, so moment of truth is here. We're gonna hook up power in the solar. Nate's up there right now, and go test everything out. Trying to find the rivets. <laughs> Don't step on my roof. Okay, so the solar is hot. What do we do? Uh, I'm gonna find my multimeter. So I like to systematically go through and verify that things have power where they should. Uh, so we're not just gonna turn it on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> check everything first. That's should smart. be good. We've already kind of been checking as, as we no, do. we've been really thoroughly checking as yeah. we've been going along. Um, positive lead into the fuse here. Negative in here, 13.3 volts. Uh, polarity is indeed correct. Uh, from our solar panels, we are at 69.7 volts. Polarity is indeed correct. So that's good. That's good. Cool. That's good. We've already systematically made sure that all these, these are, are the positive right and yeah. negative. Do you agree with that? Yeah. The uh, AC wires, the positive neutrals and grounds, line black. Neutral white, ground green. Uh, line black, neutral white, ground green. Negative, positive. Okay. Check. Check. Time to power up. This is going to be very anticlimactic. Pretty much. I'm pretty excited though. Oh. Hey, I see two red lights. <laughs> That's a good thing. Cool. Okay, no pops, no smokes. That's good. Yeah, no sparks anywhere. What's... No! <laughs> what? One more. Two more switches. The the main breaker. Okay, main breaker. Turn, break. turn that one? up. Uh, so the, in the AC panel. So down, oh, yeah, down, down. Right here? Yep. Turn that on. That one? Yep. Boom. It works. <laughs> A fan turns on. It works. <laughs> <laughs> That's really exciting. Hey, I couldn't help. It's walking up to the shop to shut it down, I do it every night, close the shop down, and the lights were still on. We left the lights on and I just couldn't help to be just so incredibly excited and pumped to have working lights in this trailer. Um, it's been a long road just to get to this point and I've got a long ways to go, but to have lights on in here is so exciting, it feels so good. I'm so thankful for Nate uh, for just coming down here and helping this out. I could never have figured all this out. I mean, this is, this is complicated and it looks so good, so clean. So I am just, I'm really excited. I'm super excited. We got one more day tomorrow. So tomorrow we're going to put in lights, uh, probably all the plugs, try to get switches in, and this thing will be fully functioning. Fully functioning, ready to roll, start putting cabinets in. So excited, we're making great progress. And I just had to come up here and show you guys this because I'm just, I'm really excited and I want you guys to see it. It's a great feeling. A lot of hard work has gotten to this point, so I appreciate it, you guys. I just want to say that. And tomorrow we will wire, put in lights, and just keep, keep trucking, one step at a time. Okay, so day three was a little bit, a little bit messed up because I had some technical issues. My mic went out. I noticed it happening in day two, but unfortunately, um, I shoot so many videos, and this one video, one of the biggest videos I had, the mic goes out, and I lose all the audio for day three. So it's not a huge deal because we didn't do a whole lot on day three, more just cable management. Uh, we pulled the trailer out and checked the solar on it and stuff like that. Uh, but as far as work, just we just kind of hung out. We didn't do a whole lot. So we didn't, you're not missing much here. So I do want to mention that I had this idea a couple months ago about how I can um, kind of remember all the talented people who've helped me with this build, Nate being one of those. So while Nate was here, since he's out of state, I went ahead and uh, got a piece of aluminum and had him sign it. For me and I'm gonna frame this up and hang it in the camper. I'm gonna track down all the other talented people.
people that have been helping me along the way here in my local area and have them sign it. And that way I can put it up on the wall and just kind of have uh, a way of remembering that this was a shared effort that I had to reach out and get help on a lot of things. Uh, I just wanted to share that with you guys let you know that is happening. And I think it's a pretty cool little feature that we'll be able to add to the wall of the camper. Also, following day three, uh, Ian uh, from Miller Garage stopped by, which was awesome. It was great to have him come by. He restores Airstreams up in the Dallas area. So I'm going to show you a little bit of footage of that, introduce you to him. I'm going to link his channel in the description. I've watched a lot of his YouTube videos uh, to help me learn about restoring this Airstream. So uh, I wanted to share that with you. Let's just jump into this day three. Okay, so it is day three of this collab with Nate. It's going really smooth. I'm actually really impressed with how well this has gone. Um, my hat's off to Nate for that. Today, what I want to do real quick is get the truck, pull the trailer out. We're going to pull it right out here, uh, kind of away from the trees, get some of this morning sun on it and see what the actual readings are. Yesterday, we weren't getting very great readings because it was in the shade. And I'm curious to see how many watts we'll get in full sun. So let me hook it up. Let's pull it out. And real soon, we're going to have some sunshine and we'll see what kind of power we got. Okay, a quick check-in on the app. It's getting pretty dang bright out here, and it's getting hot as well. Looks like we're getting to three, around 340 watts off the solar panels right now, which is pretty, pretty dang good. Happy with that. The backside here probably is not getting as much sun. Still got some trees shading things, but it's actually really cool to see, you know, all the stats of what you're getting and how much power you're using. Uh, it's really quite interesting. Okay, so Nate is doing this final final like rundown on this he's look at the wire management he's done it looks really nice all the zip ties everything's clean looking putting covers on um we got the solar switch cover to do real quick while you're doing that if it's possible can sure. you just do a really fast run through i know you just did it for your video yeah absolutely so if you guys want in-depth run through his video is the place to go uh but just knock it out real quick so if we want to use uh if we're not connected to shore power and we want to power our 120 volt uh, outlets from our batteries, it's going to go from the batteries through the Lynx distributor to the inverter portion of the Victron Multi Plus and then out to the breaker box, which is going to supply power to all the 120 volt circuits. So that's the uh, 120 volt outlets side of the system. If we want to use our 12 volt DC appliances like lights, fans, and stuff like that, it's going to go from the battery bank through the uh, through the fuse and switch through the Lynx distributor into the 12 volt fuse block side of the system. So on the 12 volt fuse block, that's where power gets distributed out to the lights, fans, and stuff like that. So to charge the batteries, um, we have our solar panels up top, and they are sending power into this dual pole disconnect here out of the dual pole disconnect into the charge controller the charge controller is going to regulate a high and varying voltage of the solar panel array down to a voltage that is more appropriate to charge batteries at and it's going to send power through the distributor through the switch and fuse back to the battery bank and lastly shore power if we're connected to shore power Shore power is going to flow into the Victron Multi Plus inverter charger and it's going to pass through what our, whatever power we need to use. Um, so if we're running the air conditioner or something, it's going to just flow right into that. And then whatever is left over, whether that be a little bit of power or a lot of the power, it's going to flow out of this positive and negative 12 volt DC wire into the distributor through the switch and fuse back into the battery bank. Awesome. Spark notes. Yes. <laughs> like I said, if you want in de like in depth run around of this, go check out his video because mine doesn't really hit all the points. There's a lot more to it. He's talking talks more about the solar, talks more about the Bluetooth connection, the app stuff. Very cool. Go check it out. Uh, 
Man, we're done. No more wires to connect, right? <laughs> the last Ooh. connection. Yes. This is so awesome, man. Looks incredible. Okay, everybody. So I have a special visitor who dropped in today, Ian Miller, from all the way from Fort Worth. He has a YouTube channel. Yep. Uh, tell us a little bit about it, man. Um, so yeah, it's uh, Miller Garage, and the primary thing is Airstream renovations. Uh, I have a few other things going on, like a series Land Rover that I'm restoring, and then a, an old F-150 pickup truck. But Airstreams are my primary thing, and I do you know projects for clients as well as some of my own stuff. But um, yeah, nice. I just wanted to yeah. come out and check out yeah. Andy's project. Yeah, yeah, I'm glad he came out. Actually, when I started this, I was doing a lot of research, and um, Ian's channel is one of the channels that I watch because it's the most informative that I've found. So I'll put a link in the description. You guys should go check it out. What do you think of my camper, man? You think I'm doing all right? Yeah, no, I think it's yeah, awesome. Yeah, uh, especially cool. the, the new addition that you did this week. I won't yeah, he just, too much. He was but... just checking out the uh, <laughs> battery and solar setup that Nate and I did. It's pretty cool. Also, he was giving me some tips on making the end caps. Hopefully I can pull that off. Yeah. You actually have a video on that one too, right? Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah. So the like the segmented aluminum end caps, yeah. I go in those. Um, like I said, I was, I was telling him, it's a lot easier than it looks. And right. It's one of those things that it looks really epic once you get it in there. And most people it think- It does look like, nice, yeah. yeah most yeah. people are pretty intimidated by it, but you know, I found a way to do it that's pretty straightforward and, yeah. and really anybody can do, so. Um, I was giving him some pointers on that, and I think it's going to yeah, think think, do it. <laughs> I think I'm basically going to copy his techniques. I am. I'm going to watch his video, and he kind of showed yeah. me how to do it. So we'll, uh, when I shoot that video, um, I'll just cross my fingers. Hopefully, I'll probably be calling you, man. Yeah, <laughs> I need help. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, so go check out Ian's channel. Really cool channel. If you're interested in Airstreams, uh, a lot you can learn there. Appreciate coming by, man. Yeah, Good absolutely. to meet you. Yeah. And uh, give me good luck on this, man. I, I don't, hopefully, I can pull this off and finish it. When do you think I can have it done by? Um, <laughs> how, how many other things do you have going on? <laughs> I'm hoping, let me tell you what I hope for. I'm hoping for, we'll be camping in spring of next year. Yeah, I think. Maybe. Right. maybe. I mean, you're, you're Not already, fully finished, but we'll yeah, maybe. You're already, you already have furniture going in and some, there's some wood in there. So cool. that's, a, that's a good sign that I think that's totally doable. Awesome. Well, so it's only October. we'll see. We got it. In the spring, we'll see where I'm at. Appreciate you coming by, man. Thanks Absolutely. a lot. Absolutely. Okay, so that shuts it down for this video. Man, what a, this is a really fun video. I'm just so thankful to Battleborn for providing such an awesome system. I've had it in there for about a week and a half now, and it's just working beautifully. It always has power. Uh, the solar's all charging the batteries. The batteries are not, I mean, it's just everything just, it's just really freaking cool to have an off-grid camper. If you own an RV or a camper van, I would highly recommend you checking out Battleborn batteries. They are the best in the industry. I'm not just saying that. And they also are great people to work with. So. The link is in the description. Go check them out. Get your RV hooked up so you don't have to plug it in. I mean, that opens up a whole new world of possibilities for you. Also, huge thanks to Nate for coming all the way from Steamboat for all the work you put into this. Had a blast working with you on this project, man. Thank you for the wiring diagrams, for all that work to help me figure out how to wire it. I never would have been able to do all this without Nate's help. So if you need to learn more about RV, camper van, electrical, solar, batteries, all that stuff, head over to Nate's uh, YouTube and his blog. Both have great resources for you. Thank you, Nate. Appreciate it, man. Look forward to soon uh, in the future heading up to Steamboat and visiting you in the camper. I also want to give a quick thanks to New Power for providing the solar. Those link That's linked in the description as well. A uh, big part of the system. A big thanks to all my viewers out there. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for all the positive comments. Now I'm excited to start woodworking on this camper. Um, the bed is built. The front bench is next. So you're going to be seeing some videos coming out of me actually doing woodworking, which I'm very excited about. Cannot wait to get those to you guys. Thanks as always for tuning in and we'll see you next time.